Uh, hey, what's up guys? Captain Zach here. Well, I've got some really cool footage for you today. I'm looking forward to sharing some underwater footage. We were uh, doing some halibut fishing a little earlier this season, and I just wanted to give you a, a sense of what a full sort of end-to-end -end cast was. So you can see the jig. This is an 8-ounce um, FireEye Glow Ball. It's heading down as we speak, so I've got it kind of baited up with a few different things. Uh, this cast, I actually caught a 30-pound halibut, so, you know, just wanted to give you a, a a real life example of how much activity is going on down there that you would almost never guess. So I, like I said, I caught a 30 pounder here in a little less than seven minutes, which is a, a great, great outcome. Always good to catch that size halibut. But really it's always surprising when I check this footage to see what what is happening underneath the, the, the surface there. So, you know, this jig's heading down. We're fishing probably about 100 feet, maybe 120 or something like that. You can see it's just getting to the bottom and bang. They're already already something cool. See, it landed on that like thick, thick-looking starfish. Uh, just sort of a, a, a neat little critter. And now I'm sort of bouncing it. Bang! You've already got a, a flounder, and then another another little fish attacking it. So that had only been on the ground for you know about three seconds or something, and it already attracted some some attention. Here's another another one of these little fish. Maybe someone can help me in the comments about what these actually are. I, I wasn't able to. Uh, to identify them they're pretty small they're only maybe you know five or six inches so I wouldn't expect to be able to hook them on uh, on this larger hook but you know it's still kind of interesting to see them sort of picking at the bait and every time these little fish pick at that bait it's actually you know not only does it sort of create a little bit of a, a scent trail there's another one of those thick thick starfish if you will but um, the, uh, it, it creates commotion and attraction and then actually sometimes the bait will actually get a little bit more flutter so you'll see as these little fish pick at it there's just a little extra flutter trail on the back because they're you see how it kind of ripped off a little bit of the flesh so now it's just fluttering even more you know so that's all really good that's halibut attracting uh, action right there and so here we go I'm just kind of you know jigging it jigging it up and down Again, when I when I use this this particular rig, the feel is not the best. So obviously, if I am if I am fishing this without a GoPro, I will actually have that that super braid right to the jig, and I will feel absolutely everything. Since I've got a little extra hardware going on here on the oh check out check out that on the left, all those legs, really cool, cool cool creature. Um, but long story short, all the hardware down there in the GoPro, it means that I can't feel like every every time a fish touches that that jig which is which is a challenge and you'll see you'll see why in a second here because um, it's really important to get a really an awesome hook hook set especially when you know a fish is engulfed it so there's a flounder again just kind of chasing it you've got a battle going on here you got flounder and then these these like little fish going after it there was the flounder again and there is a halibut so we have the first halibut entering the scene this is a a smaller halibut so this is a, a little chicken halibut coming up to take a take a bite you know that was kind of non-committal bite there he just sort of grabbed at the very tip you know he I wouldn't call that a ferocious attack or anything um, yep and he came at it again a little bit more aggressive he's got it in his mouth now he's kind of chewing on it I, I actually I, I may have hooked him for a second there that's it's too bad that I didn't kind of bury that hook right when he started chewing on it because that would have been uh, a good hookup here he goes again you can see he's getting more aggressive so now he's now he's got it in his mouth he's really trying he's coming up to this bait and really sucking it in and then these little fish are kind of nickel and diamond in it along the way here it goes drifting along these little fish just can't get enough of it they keep coming and getting one little peck of it here's the halibut again okay so more aggressive now now he's really after it this is in his mouth it's killing me to watch this footage and not set the hook right now like i should just i should bury that hook this should be a, a halibut in the boat no doubt but like i said a little bit of that extra gear i've got on this rig is just causing me to not feel uh feel that that that, that jig strike the second the second the fish bites it but nonetheless here we go again there's that little halibut i actually almost hit it with a jig there that was kind of interesting you know these little fish keep pecking at it pecking away here comes the halibut again. So it just goes to show you too, these fish are persistent. So like if you ever miss a halibut, just drop it back down. There's that flounder on the left and the halibut on the right. So even though the fl flounder have small mouths, I wouldn't expect to catch a flounder on this, but like, um, you know, he still keeps coming after this and he's, you know, chowing down on it. But the point here is that halibut are 
are aggressive and they're persistent. So if the halibut misses it the first time, they'll often come back and grab it again. You see this little chicken halibut has done that again and again. Let's take a look though, because you're going to get a, a, a pretty cool, cool scene here in a second. These little fish keep coming up and pecking it. And one little fish has a kind of a bad day when, when a much bigger halibut comes by. But let's, let's see how it goes. Just kind of coming along the bottom here. I don't love that that's dragging the bottom. I'd rather have that a slight bounce and then up. There's two flounder on the left. Two flounder just kind of cruising with it. Again, so it has their interest. There's the halibut again. That's that chicken halibut. Continuing to cruise after it. Something just hit the hit the rig. So it hit my uh, GoPro or the or the this metal spreader bar I'm using here. Here comes the flounder again with some momentum. Yeah, you see how sm a tiny little mouth. Yeah, that's not gonna gonna cut it. There's the halibut, that little chicken halibut. He's sort of continuing to chase it. So you got to think eventually something's going to grab this and it's going to get hooked. Here's a bang. Check that out. So this little fish, that little fish came to grab it again. And now a much a bigger halibut came by. That's a 30 pound halibut. He just crushed it. I wasn't going to let that go. So the second he hit that, I felt it and bang. Here you go. He's hooked up. He is coming to the surface. So this is a this is a fun battle. He, look at that big, powerful tail swim. He's ripping drag, ripping drag. Now I'm kind of working him up, working him up to the top. I think he goes for one more run, and then, uh, and then I'm able to kind of bring him, bring him up to the top. But just wanted to show you this full end-to-end -end cast. I mean, here we go. I caught a 30-pounder, but all that cool action underwater. So you just never know. You, most people often underestimate how much life is uh, is down there at the sea floor. So always be optimistic about the number of fish down there, the fish that are going after your jig. You always have a chance of hooking a nice one. Uh, well, this is a cool fight here. Uh, glad I was able to share this footage. Hope you guys like it. Uh, thanks for tuning in and tight lines for now.